was Operation the Morning After. And, like the uh, pill. That, that, that's actually, that's Daisy's unlock mission. Oh! Wait, what? Yeah. Like the flower. All right. I guess we should, before we start this then, uh, some, somebody in the chat earlier, I, I missed their name, was uh, asking, do you start off with all the agents or do you have to, you know, unlock them throughout the game? Oh, you, you have to go unlock them. You gotta unlock them. You all start right. with um, the Franchise Force, whom you see here. This is Fortune, Hollywood, and Hardtack. Franchise Force? Franchise. That sounds like a team. Is. Yes, they are. it is a team. They're an official team. We don't restrict you. <laughs> we don't restrict who you can play as, but there are natural teams that have formed. Yeah. And so what you're about to see here is an example of how you would get Daisy. Okay. We are going to unlock her right now. And for this part, we're going to stay quiet and just enjoy what happens. Here. I might laugh. Just bask. That's fine. <laughs> I, do, I do love this cutscene. <laughs> Why did I join Mayhem? <laughs> Seriously? When you ask a question like that, I'm sure you get all kinds of answers, huh? Fighting the good fight. Getting revenge. Redeeming some past crime. Trying to unlock a mysterious past or secure some brighter future. Maybe even chasing some fame. <laughs> I bet you get all sorts of answers. Yeah, well, sorry to say, I'm just not that complicated. <laughs> When you're built like a brick shit house and all you care about is fucking and fighting, and then something comes along like Devil's Night? What the hell else are you supposed to do? Yeah. So, I mean, there you saw the, the 2D cutscene there that, that uh, dove into uh, Daisy's uh, deep and complicated, complex, and, uh, and moving backstory. No, um, so. <laughs> Daisy's, Daisy's a favorite uh, amongst the studio. Once you saw there was a 2D cutscene, and we have lots of 2D in the game itself. Every agent, uh, every agent, every agent, unlocking every agent, the, the, the mission that unlocks every agent, it begins with a uh, little uh, cartoon uh, that kind of tells how they came to become, or yeah, came to become, that's a thing, came to become mayhem agents. Uh, and Daisy, like she said, she's just not that complicated. No, no complicated. Oh. Though she creates complications. Oh, <laughs> Don't drink and drive, folks. A little bit. Don't, yeah. This is, uh, what, Daisy's quest to remember what she did the night before. Yeah. Um, so hers was a little bit really fun, actually, when you guys were uh, tackling this one. Oh, this is so good. I, I adore Daisy, and um, I used to tell people I, I would, uh, that when I was having a really bad day, those are the nights I would write Daisy. Because she's just completely unfiltered, so just wait, does not care what anyone thinks about her. Ghost, he um, oh, she's lovely. Gotta dash, show that triple that jump. Oh yep. no, we're gonna get. Oh god! The car. Whoa! Whoa! Look at those. Uh, look, but okay, let's call out the quad skates. Okay, she's yeah. a derby girl. She she's is got a derby girl. Quads. Yeah. Shout out to bookshelf, the man himself, Josh Barons. Yeah. Why? For uh, for that. No um, Forget I said oh, anything. Daisy. Okay. Right. I say we let the rest of this dialogue run out first. Sure. It ran out. That's the end. All oh. done. Well. Let's see the dialogue. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, well, the setup being right, they need information on this guy. August gone, and so Daisy recalls vaguely somewhere through all the fog in her in her in her still kind of drunk brain, uh, running into. Um, Running into August Gaunt or hearing something about August Gaunt the night before, so she decides to retrace her steps. And the city you're seeing here, this is Seoul, Korea, and our take on it. So you're seeing all these like really cool large buildings and technology, these really neat marketplaces, and oh, this is where Daisy remembers being last night. Yeah. Well, I guess also real quick, obviously since this is the demo, you know, we showed to the press, uh, the game's still in development, oh, so yeah, yeah. something goofy might happen at some point, you know? Maybe. 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 <laughs> Probably. But, you know. I, th I think we can developed. guarantee something goofy is going to happen. <laughs> well, yes. Whether or not it's intended. Right. That's, 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 yeah, the yeah, yeah. that's the question. That's the question right. here, but we need to be cognizant of. <clears throat> All right. Yes. Yeah, volition. So, where bugs become features. Uh, this, is, this is an unlock mission, and in each of the unlock missions, we are not only teaching you about the the story of the character and their, their personality, but also how to use the character right. and what their weapons are, what their abilities are. All the agents have different weapons and abilities. So this lets us get get 
the best of both worlds in showing you both how they operate in a gameplay perspective and who they are. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, someone's mentioning triple jump. We did see that a little bit briefly, but we did not just do a double jump. We have we a, a triple, triple jump. jump. Yeah. And oh, well, Air Dash? Air Dash, Air Dash. is Holy what shit. Daisy has. So agents each, they play out a little bit differently from each other. She has an Air Dash yeah. in addition to um, Triple Jump. She also has a Ground Dash, which you saw a little bit, too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Oh, let's go... Uh, yeah. Some, uh, visit, visit All right. So we're, she, yeah. like, 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 like we yeah. said, mm -hmm. she's trying to remember exactly where she went, retrace her steps. Mm -hmm. Yep. So let's find um, out. Yep. It's yeah. never been a movie like this before. So the dialogue no. speak no. for itself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This looks you familiar. Got your hand, Josh. Now, why the hell was I at a sushi restaurant? I hate this shit. Yeah, we'll let you guys hear the dialogue on this one. <laughs> Chicago shout out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Meat dish pizza. <laughs> meat dish pizza. That's right. Demand your pizza. <laughs> hey, hey, don't you sass me. I want my pizza. If you persist, a dirty will be notified. She does not put down the gun. No, no. <laughs> she doesn't need to. <laughs> where, where, where do I put the money? Oh, shit. <laughs> I broke it. A dirty alerted. Cops in mouth. Fuck, you called the cops? Not cool, squid. All right, so I guess we can explain briefly yeah. how Daisy works here. So Daisy's a character, again, roller derby influenced, and she has a, a giant minigun. And one thing that's cool, and we, we can take a look at this in a minute here, yeah. is we allow you to switch out how she plays, but right here you are mainly just learning how her gun works. And yeah. she just has the minigun, does a, uh, I will read, a spray of <laughs> devastating <laughs> barrage. barrage of bullets. Mm -hmm. While not precise, mm -hmm. <laughs> she manages to deal a lot of damage. It really ah, speaks for itself, wow. though. It does. Watch, yeah. Watch for that heat buildup, though. So one of her more <laughs> I don't know who wrote mechanics, that, but that is poetry. That is poetry. One of her more interesting mechanics, though, is while she's firing her gun, it's building up heat. And to actually cool it down, she uses her special ability and goes into a, ro uh, a roller derby mode. Yeah. And yeah. that cools her weapon down and allows her to just run into guys and uh, knock them the fuck around. Yeah. Citizen, you are in direct so these are the civil, what, civil Overwatch, Overwatch patrol? patrol. The cops Overwatch of, Soul. Patrol. of Soul. Um, yep. You see these guys all throughout the city. They'll come in on force if you uh, <laughs> get in yep. trouble. Because she did, she did attack the sushi octopus. She did. Squid. Squid. She wanted a pizza. And, uh, no, it's an octopus. It's an octopus. She just, she just, it she is just, an octopus. She just calls it a squid. She calls it a squid. Friday corrects her. Friday corrects everybody. <laughs> That's her amazing taunt. <laughs> yep. You know, like in that movie. You may call me Joe. My fellow synthoids and I were impressed by your handling of those police units. But to be the best, you have got to beat the best. Are you are you in a movie? Do you have what it takes to survive the ten on one man versus machine brawl for the bronze? Oh uh, yeah! It's on like Robot Tron! <laughs> Meet us at the TTX main stage, if you dare. <laughs> Holy shit. Was I in an underground robot fight club last night? Because that sounds awesome! Daisy, how goes the hunt for August Gaunt? Could be going worse. Look, why are we after that dick cheese anyways? A literal toddler. How much of a threat could he be? To be honest, we don't know how much of a threat Gaunt is, but we do know that not only is Babylon in Seoul, he also has numerous lieutenants here as well. So Pride is definitely up to something big. And no, he's not a literal toddler. He's like, I don't know, 20 or something. Oh, so your age then. I, look, you know, 
I may be young, <laughs> but I pride myself on my ability to learn, coordinate, multitask. Stop it, you two, or I'll put you both in a timeout. Yeah, uh, people are asking if they can marry Daisy. Um, <laughs> I think the answer to that is get in line, <laughs> from what I understand. Yeah. Good luck. Uh, Good she has luck. a lot of followers already, so. Yeah, I don't really see Daisy settling down anytime no. soon. Yeah. I guess, uh, since we're in a, a, a fairly, like, you know, big place in the city here, I, do we want to talk about this building at all? The GTX? Yeah. Yeah, Seoul is the home of the Tomorrow Tech Expo, kind of a, imagine a, a Postmodern, cutting-edge technology world's fair, um, and yeah, it kind of kind of assumes a lot of the city. And there, we are coming across uh, Mimi, the mascot of uh, the Pan Asian Consortium, which sponsors uh, the Tomorrow <laughs> Tech Expo. And Mimi is wonderful. Love Mimi. Mimi's so Shit, good. I remember this. Man, those robots were weak ass. Whose idea was it for the that thing for the loading screen? It's, it's my favorite thing about the mission. I think those runs. <laughs> How much <Yeah>. she drink? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, to answer V Zelly, the, there's no purpose for the chickens. And or circuit boards on the line for the trophy of torment. <laughs> Yeah. This Bring is a shard. You can collect Fucker. shards to make cores. Yes. Which give you really cool things for your characters. Collect <laughs> ten shards to automatically create an upgrade core. Hey. Ooh. And yeah, we'll be looking at that stuff a little, In a bit, little bit. Those robots were weak, yeah, man. This is uh Daisy. She oh. uh she does get that. But someone called out Friday, so good on you, man. Uh, Friday yeah. is yeah. Friday is magnificent. <laughs> Um, yeah, people are commenting on her voice actor a lot. Oh, that is Larissa her Gallagher. Is amazing. I don't even care if I'm supposed to say it or not. Larissa Gallagher, <laughs> you are wonderful. Yeah. Uh, you are such a champion. Um, Friday is such an integral part of this uh, this game. And fun fact, it was, she was like one of the last characters created. Huh. And she was created just because it's like, well, you know, hey, it doesn't make sense that Persephone would, Persephone Brimstone would get really low level on the missions. Like, I bet she'd have a second in command. <laughs> And I think it was also like, we need someone who can work the teleporter. Uh, <laughs> someone like, has to push the button. And so, yeah, we're like, okay, well, how about a character Friday, blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, you know, essentially it was like, okay, it's prim proper. Um, yeah. Good Last stuff. Robot. Sorry, Mike. Whatever. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, you were mentioning roller derby mode, and we'll be able to see a little bit of that here. So, because Hey, so we'll build up a little bit of heat with the minigun here. You have the crosshair, somebody pointed it out. Mm. You can see the heat building up. And as soon as, uh, you can actually do it whenever, but we're full now, can't fire anymore. So we're gonna go just roll. go into roller derby mode and just run into some fools and make them pay. <laughs> so we can go back into, uh, go back in and do some more shootings. Keep doing that loop there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, to answer the question, Dub, um, yes, it is a reference to uh, Girl Friday, which is a reference in itself to Man Friday. So, <laughs> many levels. Hey, Ryan. Hey. What does that mean, repairing Garage Bot Type Z? What is all this? Ooh, what is the Garage Bot Type Z, repairing Garage Bot? Yeah. That might be what we call a pride captain. Oh, are they all that? Or is oh, no, they're not. They are... You don't know what you're going to encounter when you come across a pride captain. They're randomized, actually. Over, what, 70 or so 70 different combinations? <laughs> yeah, I believe so. 72 combinations. Quite a few. Those, so, yeah. <laughs> so depending on when you encounter them, um, what they do, they might be shielding other enemies on the battlefield. They might have a... Giant face laser. I hope we get the face laser coming mm. out. Oh. <laughs> the face laser is good. Oh, shit. Oh, right. Fuck. I think I remember what happens next. Splendid. Care to share? Shit. Friday. Fuck. And, and what? Did Splendid come up on a word of the day calendar or something? I don't see what that has to do with anything, but yes. Why do you ask? No reason. Look, Friday, I think I may have committed a felony last night. Really? I... I just can't remember which one exactly. I love her calling out that she may have committed a felony. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just based on all the other stuff that goes <laughs> yeah. on. Yeah, I think you can assume she yeah. committed a felony. And which felony? Yeah, yeah. Which, which one? Well, we are going to leave know. you on a cliffhanger. <laughs> yeah, so as you mentioned, that isn't the full recruitment no. mission nope. for, no. for Daisy. That's no. like the first half or That's so. the first half. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, it goes on for there, tracing more and more what she did. Yeah, yeah. During her bender. 
So we'll have to reveal more later. <laughs> so getting XP, leveling up agents. Yep. So she is now unlocked, and now we can use her in the game. Even though we kind of skipped some of it. Yeah. <laughs> Needed a little more effort to unlock her, but... Yeah. Violence never solves anything, but damn, it feels really good sometimes. <laughs> Each, may mayhem uh, knows PSAs. Yes. Yeah. Each agent has a few choice quotes, actually. For yes. These. Oh, man. Hold on. <gasps> I, I ran the numbers once. Ooh, now we get to play it's with an this. insane amount. <laughs> yeah. So, yes. uh... <laughs> Before you go out into Seoul, you know, we, we've mentioned the Ark, uh, and so when you're in the Ark, you know, there's a, you know, can unlock upgrades, do some other stuff, make gremlin tech. When you're about to deploy, you have to choose your squad. So uh, for our demo, we don't have all the agents, we have nine out of 12 of them. Mm -hmm. So um, I guess we'll, well cycle. right now we only have six. Yeah, well, there's yeah. one we're also holding back at this point. We can choose her later though, oh, yep. for right, the right. second half. Yeah, um, so I guess we'll cycle through who we have. Here. I mean, we you know we had Fortune, Hollywood, and Hardtack. You've seen them before. They were the first ones we revealed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, on top of that, we've also got Daisy, of course. Uh, Kingpin. Go Kingpin. Red card. Yes. Our favorite soccer hooligan. Uh, Football Rama. hooligan. And then we got Oni. Uh, we figure uh, since you know we have to make a squad that we just let the chat shout names. And then we would make a squad based on what you shouted at us. Uh, Oni. <laughs> Oni. I see an Oni. Oni. I see Somebody Oni. Somebody shouted Oni, Oni right yep. away. So, all right. Okay. We got an Oni. I'll have to wait a little bit. Um, I think uh, someone wanted to see oh. Red Card's butt. Oh, well, there's Kingpin. Oni, Kingpin, Daisy. Daisy. That, that was. What? Lots of Kingpins because. I've of, seen a lot yeah. of Kingpins. I think yeah. we'll have to I've seen go a lot of Rama, too. Kingpin, Kingpin, yeah. Kingpin. Red King Card, Pierce, Rama. Grim Dark. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Who's the other one we think we're seeing the most after that? Uh, Grim Dark. Hmm. <laughs> if only. If only. I think David Rama. Came. I think it's Rama. I think we're seeing a decent yeah. amount of Rama, yeah. Yep. <clears throat> oh yeah. All right. Got our sniper. Let me, yeah, let me analyze this for a second and make sure this is a squad that's not going to mess me up. This is going to be a little hard. Long range. Well, we got long range right. and then two short range two for short what we're going range. into. They're all a little squishy. But I, they I are think, squishy. I think you can, can do it. Can do Jason it. Blair is not I a playable agent. damage both shield and armor. That's unfortunate. Well, that's Cots man. Uh, I wonder who that could possibly be. We're going to leave it know. here, but, you know. We have difficulty levels. Yes. yes. A lot of them. Yeah, and the higher up on the scale you go, the more XP and cash you get, yep. better loot. Those difficulty names are pretty awesome. They are. <laughs> Let's go look at those again real quick. Oh, yeah, hmm. look at that. What? Hot shot. What? Badass. Badass. Oh, who does that? That's super cool. Agent of the week. Wow. Yeah, and then as you get more, you can get cooler and cooler loot. So it's a sliding scale that we let you set um, based on, you know, what kind of challenge you're ready for at the yeah. time. Like what, yeah, like what levels your agents are, <laughs> like the group that you've put together, things like that. Yep. Works out and yeah, well. Mike, our community developer in the chat, is saying higher, difficult level, higher difficulty levels are hard. Yeah. They are very hard. <laughs> they they are. can get really hard. Yeah. Once you get through Crypt Path, you unlock five more. <laughs> Oh, boy. <laughs> Oof. Stay cool! Care to bet who kills more Legion? Next up, fresh air. And so, yeah, they each have those really cool lines as they jump into the city. I think Hardtack has one where he sings, like, the whole mm -hmm. time. <laughs> and I love it <laughs> so much. I've, got, I've only gotten that one so once much. while playing the game. Yeah, but it's, oh, yeah. There, it's so there, there's also a PSA for Hardtack that I really... We, I think we have... No, I don't think we'll hear it see more PSAs in this demo, but there's one for hard tech that I'd really, really like. It's the one about swimming. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Was it, uh, was it, they say, <laughs> don't go swimming 30 minutes after no, no, no. we eat. No, it's the one, hard tech just appears and he says, learn to swim. That's it. That's all I got. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's the one. Yes. Yes. Uh, so, well, the other one is yeah. the, the, people say wait 30 to 45 minutes after eating to go swimming. That's, That's bullshit! bullshit. <laughs> and that is actually bullshit. Yeah, so this is, um, what? wow, so you're seeing a lot going on here. So with Daisy's unlock mission, we were only playing as Daisy, and now we have the ability to play as the full squad that we selected. Yeah, so you're able to hit left and right on the D-pad yep. um, to just swap between the agents. 
And what you saw here, you saw Dash earlier on Daisy, but Oni actually has the ability to go into stealth. Uh, nobody knows where he is. He can reposition uh, whenever he does that. So Josh is just like rattling off stuff here. So I'm going to try to keep up with all the <laughs> I action. I played the game a lot. Yeah. Um, he, he fired a trap earlier, uh, one of Rama's traps. That was the purple circle you saw her put down. Uh, you could probably you can fire one, one right of these there, guys up here. Spot. Yeah. Yeah. Probably I mean, be good. Boom. Triple jump. Rama's awesome. Triple jump. Boom. Trap. Rama has an incredibly dry sense of humor, uh, which I I adore. I think it's fantastic. Very gallows humor. I like that a lot. Yeah, and she also can charge her arrows to do a full shot of damage as well. Um, she's one of our longest range characters. I think, um, actually, Kingpin is the furthest, has the furthest range out of anyone, and then Rama. So this is actually a really good long range yeah. spot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so what Josh is doing right now is he's going to go take on an outpost, and Legion has put these outposts up all over the city, um, and in this particular case, they're also guarding it and protecting it mm -hmm. with these like evil drilling devices and yep. roadblocks and sniper towers. So it's this really cool Legion presence in the city that we're going to go take on right now. Yeah, so one cool thing to look at, you notice that this guy says Veteran Pride Hell Trooper up top on his on his name. And you'll see some that are just uh, uh, Hell Trooper or Recruit Hell Trooper. And what's interesting about that is as you raise the difficulty, you're going to see new ranks of enemies come out. And they aren't just people that have more, that do more damage and have more health. They actually will start using new abilities. Right, they're so, not just like pallet swaps or anything. No, they're, it, so like the veteran hell trooper is actually going to try to press your position by throwing grenades yeah. at you uh, that you have to avoid. So you, and all of the enemies that we have in the game have these different ranks that are going to try you in different ways. Pierce throws his gun as his special ability. Um, and he is a badass in this game, definitely. <laughs> oh yeah. Got a couple of interesting questions uh, come up. One, uh, do the agents have independent uh, health pools or do they share a health pool? Uh, they each have their own individual health pool and shields. And uh, another one, I'm gonna, the, the other one, uh, it was specifically about uh, uh, Rama's traps, but I'm gonna, uh, uh, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, abstract a little bit. Do the effects of the, the mayhem abilities and special abilities, uh, do they, are they gone if, if I swap characters or do they, do they remain? Um, it, it's agent dependent. Um, so there are some agents where their specials are actually uh, inherently part of the character, so things will happen if you swap out. Um, others will have lingering effects that remain. So like Rama, with her mayhem ability, has a plague a trap that she'll put down, and enemies uh, that get into there will get the plague, they'll contract it, they're able to spread it to other enemies that are all around, and that will actually continue if you swap out. So you could swap her in if she has her mayhem uh, available, and use that and then swap to somebody else. We also do a lot of cool things where you're able to build your squad to set people up to do cool things. Like, we have a lot of status effects in the game. You may have seen some of them appearing already, the words that are popping off of the enemy's heads. And say you want to build a squad that's very much around the ability to stun people, you might do somebody that can uh, stun enemies. Like, right here you see the enfeeble and all that stuff that's happening with Oni. Yep. But the stunning stuff where you're actually going to stun enemies, then you might have another agent who does extra damage to people that stun. So you could get in there, stun a bunch of people, swap to the person that does a lot of damage to the people that are stunned, and then just like mop, mop everybody up. Yeah, swap is also tactical in that if someone is low health, when they are not the active agent, they do heal on the side. And some agents um, in your squad help other agents heal faster, for example. There's a lot of teamwork. Teamwork. Yeah, and so Oni is, he's like a really um, high skill agent yes. because he um, gets a huge bonus when he does uh, headshots and um, gets critical kills, right? Or like well, his, kills his special kills. is actually a guaranteed crit, yeah. uh, critical yeah. hit, yeah. but if he kills somebody with that critical hit, his uh, special actually instantly recharges. Yeah. So yeah. if you pull people down low on health and then switch to Oni just and just use that, you can pow, 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 just take them out really quick. Yeah. I guess um, we should mention real quick too. Now, we're actually in the outpost now, and the, uh, the goal is to just like fuck take it up really bad. Equipment. Yeah. They have lots of equipment. We just need to blow up a lot of it uh, uh, so that we get can. Mayhem going. Yeah. We gotta get someone their mayhem abilities. Yeah, let's let's uh. Yeah. So the more he uses their special abilities, the more his mayhem gauge is filling up. Also, other all these other combat trick shots that he's doing, like double kills, interrupts, all of those feed into um, the mayhem bar there at the bottom that gets closer yeah. and closer to using their mayhem ability, which is their like set piece awesome badass ability. <laughs> 
you'll there definitely want your mayhem built up for when you you get to the uh, apex of this. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. it it can get pretty ridiculous. Yeah, this outpost is is um, kind of set to be a little bit aggressive. <laughs> so we're we're yeah. making him work here. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that was the example of him throwing his weapon. Hey, so yeah, it's not just, uh, correct me if I'm wrong here, but it's not just, uh, you know, doing your special move that can increase mayhem, it's also killing enemies and blowing shit up. To yeah, the it. critical kills. Yeah. yeah. All that stuff you see appearing over on the, on left, the left, like the yeah. interrupt. Right. Those things are feeding into your, your mayhem. But one of the fastest ways to build up is to use yeah. your special abilities. And all this cash and all this scrap, all this stuff that he's picking up, all of that feeds into kind of some higher level stuff going on in our game where you can unlock um, higher level abilities in your agency and in the arc and um, build different kinds of tech and gadgets. So there's some really oh, cool Oh, face laser! Face laser! Yay! Face laser! We got the face laser! We got okay, that's the slag bot. Yeah, so that's, this pride captain rolled in a really cool way for us. Um, yeah. Which is not cool for Josh, but it's cool for us. <laughs> but oh, the ability would help. Whoop! Let's get him here. Do it. Oh, yes. So this is our Saints Row nod here. <laughs> yes. Oh, look what we did. <laughs> oh. Face. That pride captain's got Face moves laser. though. Look at that. Look at that. I I totally want to. I totally want to sing some songs with an open DMCA <laughs> and things will get really weird and. Yeah. Never had me on the stream so that again. was a really cool combo he did there, right? He he saved his mayhem for a big bad boss and then was able to take him out like quite a bit. Oh, there. you might want to switch. You're, You're getting low on health off. with Brahma there. You're right. Yeah. yeah. We haven't really mentioned Oni's special too much, mm -hmm. but it's like a uh, the instant crit. Yeah. The instant yeah. Crit. Instant crit and also he has a oh, passive that creates an aura of fear around him. Yes, that's, that's a, the passive yeah, ability some, that he has. Yeah. yeah. That's that purple stuff you see uh, around there. Yeah. If people get into that, they will the purple circle, purple stuff, purple stuff. Purple stuff. The purple circle is really big now, so you might it yeah, goes out really far. So I just hit shot that dude yep. like ten times in a row. Yeah, right? he increases the the radius of that circle and by it, getting crit hits. So it, it really encourages the the crit hit style of play with him. Did you say crit hits are the shit? Uh, for Oni. Crit hits are other, indeed the shit. Yeah. And other things that are incentivizing him to swap here is some agents are good against armored enemies and some agents are good against shielded enemies. So depending on which enemies are coming at him, whether they have armor or shields, he's going to want to pull out different agents to yeah. fight. It's like, it's, I believe, um, yeah, uh, Kingpin here is good against armor. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we have shield with, uh, with Rama, Rama yep. and then Oni is also shield. Yeah. Yep. Do I have a hacking specialist? You do you? not have I a hacker. I don't believe I do. You okay. do not have a hacker. So we, will, we will hack the tower here. Or not the tower, the... Uh, no, no the when he was asking if we had a hacking specialist, that's actually really interesting. Um, some of our agents, are, all the agents have different... Uh, abilities that are uh, kind of passive in nature but allow them to like do more damage to armor and shields or in the case of the hacking that he was talking about if he had a uh, master program person on his squad he would be able to switch to them go up to the hack and um, use that to instantly get through the hack without having to entirely. do the uh, the timing the, the mini game yeah yeah um, okay so before hack the planet <laughs> if only um, we're actually going to go we're back hack to the Gibson later. Stay tuned. Full screen for a brief second because I didn't need to do a little bit of extra setup to get to the next portion of oh, our demo okay. here. Because again, we're not showing the full demo, so if we just kept going, we, we yeah. would see something going on with Braddock. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, let's field some questions from people while I'm getting yeah. this set up. And once those outposts are, are uh, captured, that's what reveals a whole bunch of the Legion activity in the world around that point. Um, so it's a really cool like push and pull that we have in the city. <laughs> yeah, we haven't really Polish mentioned. After dark. We haven't mentioned, um, and we're not going to see in this thing because the next yeah. thing we're playing is another uh, mission. Oh, cool. Um, <laughs> yeah. But uh, you know, there are side activities, and I guess we should mention those a little bit because they're they're procedural, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes. Well, yes. thanks everyone. Well, that is great. Um, we can't yeah, just flip the table. Just, we're um, done. We're done. He's got it. Um, right, so what are we about to see here? What are you showing sure us? To set um, up? He we asked. Got a little bit more. We got a little bit more set up, but we're actually going to uh, go to a another story mission that 
uh, it is kind of like the climax to one of the mm -hmm. plot lines in the game. Are we going to uh, see Hammersmith's cutscene? Yes. Okay, yep. so we don't have yeah. to explain too much about him because he <laughs> that cutscene. But Hammersmith is a, a legion yeah. lieutenant under uh, under the minister, um, yeah. Doctor Babylon. One of multiple villains in the game, right? And, yes. yes. Yeah. And we are actually getting to the. Um, third part yeah, of right. his mission is where we're going, yeah, right? Yeah, yes. this demo shows the So last at part this of point, mission. Mayhem has really managed to piss Hammersmith off. Yes, it is. Same um, yes, it is. <laughs> what? Sorry. Yeah, so uh, Operation Heaven Sent... He's getting distracted by the... He's not talking to you. Uh, Operation <laughs> Heaven Sent is, uh, is the push against... I'll uh, talk to you. The push against Hammersmith, the, uh, the Legion <laughs> Weapons Smith. Um, <sighs> All right. Is Jason Gat. I'll never tell. Mm -hmm. Squinting, I see a little bit of resemblance. So we haven't Maybe. seen red card yet. So yeah, yeah. Um, I get, again, people shout like what you want, but I mean, you know, hint, other it's red card. There's other people we haven't seen. <laughs> uh, red good, card. good question here. Will there be mission replay so you can retry missions with other agents? Indeed, yes. You can replay all the missions, uh, and every single agent has dialogue for every single mission. Yep. So if you go back yep. and replay, you're going to hear new dialogue for everybody. Yeah, and yeah. it's it's also like a, um, you know, whatever active, eight, like, it's not just like in one specific mission, Hollywood will always say the thing, thing there or whatever. Like, if you, you know, a bad guy's saying something to you, one agent will respond if they're going to respond, you know, another ten seconds, but you switch to a different agent, they have their own dialogue. Too. Yeah, it's yeah, not like, yeah. It's not like you're stuck to one agent from your squad or something. Yeah, like. so I'm still like playing the game, you know, getting it ready and everything, <laughs> and like some one-liners still like surprise me and yeah. crack me up. I'm like, if I've never played a certain agent in a certain mission, I'm just dying laughing because they're so funny in a lot of different cases, or even like some of the deadpan stuff, like you were describing too. Oh yeah, just like really good surprises. Like, cause like Sherazad just weird. <clears throat> Like, yeah, she's, she's, so weird, she's very strange. Very and strange. like I said before, uh, Rama's very gallows humor, and um, yeah, so here we have <clears> yeah it was important. Right it was important that like people are going to have their favorite characters, and it was important uh, for, uh, for you know for the writing team especially of like hey, if people love a character, they should be able to replay the missions mm -hmm. as that character and get that character's perspective yeah. on everything. Um, and yes, there is banter. So when you have oh, yeah. a certain squad, you'll yeah. hear that banter. They'll also banter with um, agents back at the base as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. So there's a lot of advantages to replaying missions and just getting these different combinations, not just in the gameplay, but also just in the in the story in the background that you get. Oh yeah, uh, we, yeah. I, I call it the uh, I call it the uh, the office comedy yeah. because <laughs> you get that right with with, uh, with coworkers. Uh, you get uh, the the rivalries and the kind of like oh hey, sporadic. We didn't get to you know, are you going to be around for book club later and hey you know hey they're doing a, a table tennis uh, tournament yeah I, we got to kick their ass and yeah we had a lot a lot a lot of fun with yeah. the banter all right so i'm picking people based on what i've seen some people say people... yeah so braddock we didn't get to show earlier because yeah. um in that point of the demo she wasn't unlocked yet right. so yep. pretend right. we just unlocked braddock hey Ta -da! we did that we did yeah. it. <laughs> congratulations um, One thing that we didn't show, but I will bring up, right? We had the unlock mission for Daisy. Right. Every agent, um, except for the three you start with, because the uh, very first mission is their unlock mission. Mm -hmm. um, every agent has an unlock mission and a personal mission. So there are tons of missions just involving agents, and you only play as that agent in Wait, those specific uh, missions. Next? Um, that's in addition to all the missions that we have for Crit Path. We have a shit ton of missions in this game. 50 plus missions are in Agents of Mayhem. Yeah. yeah. Just let that let that soak in your brain just for a second. Yeah. Take it in. It's wonderful. <laughs> it is. Incredible amount. Thank are you feeling that. it? You feeling yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, cutscene. Oh, yeah. cutscene. Let's listen to this. Hammersmith is the nom de guerre of Magnus Torison, a designer of weapons. At one time, he sold his services to the highest bidder. Allegiance or ideology did not matter, only his passion to create. Then one day, he simply vanished. Dr. Babylon thought he could force the Swedish upstart to work for Legion. But coercion was unnecessary. Torison was eager to join the Ministry of Pride. <laughs> they were a match made in heaven. Whatever technological monstrosity he plans to unleash, you must stop him. 
Mm, nice. Yeah. So somebody was saying, um, asking like, are there in-engine cutscenes too? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, we yep. have. It is a mix of 2D cartoon and also in-engine 3D cutscenes. Yeah. I think you'll see one or two 3D cutscenes in this mission. Yes. Actually. Yeah. 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 Um, so, uh, Jason, I guess before we start this, should we set up what we're doing here with Hammersmith? What's he been up to? Hammersmith? Yeah, what's he so doing? So, Hammersmith is trying to uh, get something for his boss. And that something just happens to not be on Earth. So, you have, uh, <laughs> you have hunted him down and uh, found, uh, found what you believe is the entrance to his secret lair. Whatever. And you are going to stop Hammersmith from potentially destroying reality itself. All right. Yeah. Look at Braddock. She's so Someone cool. asked if uh, Braddock, uh, Braddock's name was a reference to Missing in Action. What, whatever do you mean? <laughs> no uh, idea. We started a lot, actually, with Braddock's uh, code name. And eventually, it, what we came down to eventually was, uh, was you know what? She, just, she wouldn't have a code name. She's like, just call me Braddock. <laughs> Before we start, did you want to go into the... Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, after, you know. <laughs> I also After just, the boom dance. <coughs> the boom dance. Yes. Boom, I did not boom see that goes line to dynamite. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But yeah, take a look it's at some of these animations too, because they're great. They're great. Yeah. But um, yeah. So you know, you mentioned you know, there's gadgets. We have oh, yeah. tech. We you know, they're we're picking up the upgrade cores and stuff. Uh, so let's take a look at some of that. Cool. Go so we go to the squad, squad menu. menu. You have your your squad here. And uh, let's let's go ahead and go into um, let's go into Daisy. Daisy is right. one of the the more interesting things here because as I mentioned um, earlier, you can um, build her to be more of a minigun character uh, by setting up her weapon uh, gadget and her special gadget, or you can uh, set her up to be more of a uh, roll focus more on the roller derby aspect. Right. So if we go into the special here, we she doesn't have all of them. Uh, so. Uh, Available right now, she hasn't unlocked all of them. But you could actually change right now her kick out the jams uh, pa uh, special to the quick pass special if you wanted to. And uh, they both do different things. The description obviously tells you what it is. So if uh, we go into the weapon here, um, you can see that there's a, another uh, empty one up here. But uh, this actually pushes her more towards being a focus fire minigun character. So you can really get a lot of different uh, play styles out of each agent depending on how you decide to equip them with all these different things. Yeah, if you love melee, you can make some of them more melee oriented. If you love like your shotgun, you can really right. lean on the shotgun. Yeah, and like, like this one is like when you overheat her her minigun entirely so you can't fire, like she gets empowered, so suddenly derby mode is like exactly. super powerful. So you, you put this one on if you want to build her in a very heavy derby mode um, yeah. way. Um, so yeah, not only do you choose a favorite agent, you choose a favorite way that you play that and build that agent, um, which is really, really fun to mess around with. Yeah, here's the core things we were picking up earlier. Yep, we actually don't have any of them. We don't have enough to unlock any of these. Yeah. But these are permanent upgrades to the character that are only beneficial. They don't take away uh, anything from the character or any of the abilities that they already have. It's strictly a uh, positive benefit. Yeah. Uh, do we want to look at Gremlin Tech real quick, or...? Oh. All right. <laughs> There's some awesome stuff we'll talk about later. We'll talk about yeah, it. Yeah, we have to hold some of this stuff back. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, red card is... Man, so for the longest time, Hard Tack was my favorite, and I think Red Card now has uh, unseated Hard Tack a little bit. But they both have shotguns. That's the thing is um, well, why I struggle with both what, of it, because cool, he gets to switch weapons. Yes. Which just yeah. made me so absolutely crazy. If you, if you just fire, he has the, the standard rifle. But if you hold his reload button, he goes into... Um, the fully automatic shotgun. And then you're just done. You're just like, okay, this yeah. is the best character, yeah. and yeah. you're done. <laughs> He's so funny, too. And the gun's right. name is... Red, red card's one of my the favorite hooligans, guns too. We actually... Um, the hula gun. Yeah. And we actually loved his I'm shotgun so much that no, now in the game, <laughs> we made a change so that the shotgun is the default weapon. Oh, seriously? So, yeah, so auto shotgun is now his default because it nice. just blew away everything else. We're like... It, it matches his personality better, too. Oh, to yeah. Start with just auto shotgun. <laughs> yeah. It worked out really well. All right. Hula All right, gun. So let's start this up. <laughs>
And there's some really good dialogue from Overdrive around here, so Agent, probably stay quiet. We're for going it. off to Hammersmith. Yeah. I marked a special vehicle you need for this mission, and I wired it up with all kinds of sensors and doodads. Let us row. Now drive to the coordinates indicated. We'll track down Hammersmith by triangulating his position. When he fires his space laser at you, the sensors in your car will help us find his lair. I'm an excellent driver. Hammersmith is about to make <laughs> all... <laughs> I'm really good. So sorry. I nearly vaporized you with my space laser. We like lasers. We like space. I, I feel like it's a little too subtle. Yeah. The difficulty on this is severely tuned down, too. Yeah. We have yeah. space laser and face laser. Mm -hmm. Two mm -hmm. more and we'll have him. Face laser. Can we get a little closer Mace to the laser. You got them all. I want to see how much these sensors can oh, pick shoot. up. Chase laser. Whatever you say, <laughs> I am shooting you from space. What I love about this interaction is Red Card is the only one that doesn't question getting closer to the laser. He doesn't even think about it. All the other ones are like, are you crazy, Gremlin? <laughs> but he's just like, okay, I will do that. <laughs> like, he just doesn't even think it. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> is so pretty. He's from Germany. Red Card's from Germany. Are you talking about Red Card? Are you talking about Hammersmith? Hammersmith, Hammersmith is Swedish. 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 Yeah. What is Red's accent? He's German. Yeah. Yeah, all of our agents are from different places around the world. I marked the final waypoint. Hey, quarter mile said be very careful with the car. Someone's asking who George so is. George is Paven up, Dane's okay? alter ego. Okay. He thinks that uh, George is a separate person. Yeah, but they're not. They it's pretty crazy. Yeah. What we have to deal with. Yeah. But I am having too much fun! And we didn't see it, but when he gets into the car, he actually kicks a soccer ball. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, we will not show Jewel today. <gasps> oh, there it is. Hey. <laughs> we can skip. It's yeah. cool. Oh, we can. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, boop. Let's go back to full screen. So the space laser is so strong. No. Mm -hmm. is that no. Right? Spin no. it. Spin it, producer. Spin. Make it work. <laughs> <laughs> That sometimes, uh, yeah. Yeah. So thank you for tuning in to Break the Build. Yep. Um, we, yeah, we went straight from that to that. <laughs> yeah, so this was a this is a demo build, and we were also um, playing with the order of the demo build. So we were, like, messing with code that messed with code. <laughs> so there are, there are like things that, that could happen. Don't yeah. do this at home. Yep. Yeah, it's very dangerous. Like, yep. yeah, watch out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, this could also be an opportunity to show how voice changes depending on which characters you choose. Yeah. That's true. Is that spinning? You like that? Oh, there we oh, go. Yeah. Yeah. That was on purpose. We, we totally. shut down. See, now you can you see how it plays group. out differently. Yeah, we can choose a different group. <laughs> yeah. Not Jewel, though. Yeah. Get a new squad. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and see how, how they react. Because, as, as Kate mentioned, Red Card's cool with it. But we could see how somebody else is like, uh, no. Yeah. And we won't talk over him. I know, like, we'll we'll try to help you hear him. Yeah. All right, let's. Uh... I think hard. T I think hard talk's one of my favorite drivers during that sequence, as far as dialogue goes. But yeah. again, he's my other favorite. So. Right. <laughs> All right. Who should we go with? Then? Um, we didn't. I still think Red Card's pretty funny in this one, but... I do want to keep Red Card just to, for yeah. gameplay. Sure. To, to show how he works. Auto shotgun. Yeah, <laughs> auto shotgun, so... I mean, I actually think that Hollywood's hilarious. Yeah, he is. Dang. Or, or, <laughs> hard, or hard okay. tech. Right. Well, we still haven't been able to show off Braddock either. Yeah, let's, let's, oh, yeah, let's we, pull Braddock we, in. We do need to... Yeah. She's really fun. Yeah, let's, let's pull Braddock in to this. I'm really way into the deploy animation for Red Card. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Push the like, button. if I'm ever doing video work and I have an excuse to capture that, I you do it. You guys want to grab some takeout after this? I'll get takeout with you. <laughs> so, yeah, there's different lines that they say every time they do this, which is pretty fun. I was hoping we'd get the singing, but oh, hard tech singing is so funny. Yeah. Okay, we yeah. probably don't have to see this one again. Oh yeah, here let's. Uh, oh wait, but this one we actually have to use. Oh, the we can't skip. Command. We can't yeah. skip this one actually. You can. Um, you can't skip this cutscene. You can make it. 
even use Dare even more sneaky commands. <laughs> Dare we show the console? At one time, we, we're not even. We, we, I'm gonna, oh, yeah, we're just waiting for Mike to say, "Don't show the console." Allegiance or ideology did not matter. <laughs> Only his passion. You're too late, mate. Too yep. late. Boom. Kablam. Uh. All right. This time we'll just jump straight in. Uh, I think mean, you we... want to drive his hardtack or Braddock probably to just show the different. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's see how hardtack drives. <laughs> <laughs> it's our secret code word. Yeah. <laughs> that is sensors and doodads. It's a really co dangerous command to use because uh, drive to the it can kill in real life. Mm -hmm. yeah. We'll track down like Hamas by triangulating yeah. his position. When he fires his space laser, the sensors in the car will help us find his lair. Stop using the yeah, command. I'm not too sure about this. Yeah, cutscenes will be skippable in non-dev builds. Hello, yes. Mayhem. Whoa. Um, again, this is a demo build, so we were trying to more control what people were seeing yeah. um, and, and have them not accidentally skip, for example. Right. Like, we have a bit of a delay, so you don't accidentally skip. Because yeah. um, also something we're doing in this demo build is we weren't letting your squad wipe, you know, just to keep things moving. So you won't actually see a full squad death in this either. Um, but you wouldn't anyway, because uh, this guy is off the play. Wait, you want me to get closer? <laughs> I am shooting you from space! Uh-oh, the sensors Watch are taking here. damage. I'll try to recalibrate. Oh, I've got you in my sights. Oh. When you go get on the approach to that last one, don't use boost. Don't boost. Ah, that's what it is. Gotcha. Oh, that's what it was. Sorry. Right. I forgot to I talked over the part that mattered. I already messed it up. <laughs> Start off the whole thing. Ah! Splendid. I marked the final waypoint. Hey, quarter mile said be very careful with the car. So try not to get it banged up, okay? <laughs> sure. And I'll fill up the tank when I'm done. <laughs> Laser cool down a bit. But I am having too much fun! Quarter mile is very protective of this country. We are not. Yeah, no, <laughs> he's the only one. So good. Splendid. Mm. Word of the day calendar. Word of the day. I'll have the coordinates of Hammersmith's lair. Let's go get the bastard. My dear girl Friday, be a sweetheart and tell Persephone. Oh, do shut up, you fucking lunatic! Oh, no. sorry about that. If you don't want to swear so much, just make up words like I do. Friday tries very hard to be proper and uh, polite and. Use oh, I've had such a lovely vocabulary. Time, but but it she must get back to work. sometimes she calls. Can't. Gets, gets a bit overheated. Yeah, yeah she gets. Uh. So, yes, that was a moving billboard. It's the restaurant <laughs> with a giant billboard. cow on top. Hammersmith has the facility under lockdown. We'll have oh, to hack man. our way in. We'll have to go. You'll need to access two separate security Echo. systems so I can go. get you inside. Yeah, I do, unfortunately. I do. Ah. I have to. I have to. Up someone. Ah, uh, well. Hey, it was great having you on. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I have to go. I got the notice. Like, okay, I'm gonna go. Heard somebody's phone buzzing. Think about doing it live, but I'm not. Hold on, I'm not leaving. Sorry. If you're watching, person, I have to wait a second. Yeah. Because I'm not leaving until the special part. Oh. Special part. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking about. So Braddock has this cool burst rifle. Yep, and if you use her special, it gives her armor piercing rounds as her default. Yep. She has some cool stuff that you can uh, switch to as well, cool. like a uh, single straight line beam that will go through uh, obstacles That's and everything. It, agent. Find the other terminal, and I'll get you in. Yeah, oh, so you might be wondering like what this effect is on the characters here. That's because we that's because we have Braddock with us, right? That's causing that to happen. Yeah, she gives. Passes. Yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, where uh, if you switch from her or to her, somebody gets like a, a fortify. Defense. Yeah, yep. fortify. Like a, a defense. That shotgun. <laughs> So good. <laughs> Can we never change the numbers on the shotgun uh, at all? Because <laughs> I like it a lot. Totally balance. <laughs> Our attacks are still here. Get this. that guy over here. Shoot him once with a shotgun. Twice. Twice. Twice with a shotgun. Our attack's still one of my favorites too because of his uh, AOE melee or melee ability. He's he's able to hit everybody around him. Yeah, he's. I switched to him a lot just for the melee. Yeah. And we still didn't bring a hacker with us. Oh well. Ah. Oh well. It's only ah. fortune. She's... What? There's one guy left. There, there he is. is. <laughs> that was our scan ability. Um, so at any time you can hit Y and see all the enemies around you. It also reveals loot later on and stuff like that too. If our intel is yeah, you can upgrade it to show different things. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. All right. Now then. It's Oh, the entrance must be up here somewhere. <laughs> Bet you a milkshake it's that little cow. Whoa there, Sheriff. You ain't in cahoots with the Mayhem gang, are you? Hope you ain't fixing to hornswoggle old Scooter. What? What did you say to me? Answer me, cow! I'm sorry, Agent. Please stand by. <laughs> There's something odd here. You want it done right, let me at him. Take cover! So you saw Braddock saying, you want it done right, let me at him. The agents that you have, if they're more uh, well equipped for the situation as far as the armor and shield stuff goes, they'll say, hey, let me let me handle this. There's some armor piercing. Yeah. So as you can see, she, she just completely wrecks Messes the, the turret. Really mm. Have another look around. She's actually a really good fit for the two shotgun guys. Yeah. I told myself I was gonna get all perfect hacks this stream, and I fucking didn't. Wow. That At least you didn't fail one. You didn't fail it, though. Mosey on in, Sheriff. Strap <laughs> on a nose bag and get roostered up. It's high time for jollification. I have no oh, idea scooter. what this cow is saying. Good luck, Agent. Scooter's real good. Whole hideout full of yeah. target practice. Nice. Now we are descending into a Legion lair. These are hidden all throughout the underbelly of the city. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Legion uh, has infested the city of Seoul, and they have all kinds of fantastic lairs hidden beneath the city. Yeah. You were going to fight a cow. The <laughs> <laughs> I like the enthusiasm, Emmy. All right, I got to go, everyone. Thank all you right. for having Bye, me. Jason. Yeah, Jason. You can watch me. Uh, limp away. Goodbye, Jason. Thank you. Goodbye. 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 I, hope, I hope I see you again. Oh, I should be in tomorrow. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs>has a vendetta she does tend to be a little bit more serious but like jason said earlier they can also tend to have uh, a silly side yep. sometimes yeah don't uh, red card has some really good lines she... in here too so does hard tech even so. though she sent you here to die well i'm not the one going home in a body bag in this chamber i build the final prototype of my space laser for your sake and mine stay clear of those power conduits they are rather unstable so am i <laughs> That's good. <Hold> yeah. <laughs> I was like up late, like uh, testing the demo at one point, and I heard that for the first time. I just lost it. Just <laughs> like, you died. So I am I. <laughs> so unstable. Very unstable. <laughs> Space. All right. Me. So having Braddock here is actually good because there's like, some turrets here, and they. Uh, they can fuck you'll, you up. Yeah, you'll get worked. Yeah. If you're now, not uh, careful. Yeah, so Legion Lairs are really cool. They have traps that are hidden throughout them. They have these turrets that can come up out of the ground. They have, um, you know, the slew of different Legion mm -hmm. enemies. Mm -hmm. 
There's also regular like PA announcements that kind of give you a little insight into uh, Legion's how, evil plans or not. Or how they uh, <laughs> operate from a HR perspective, I guess. Uh, I don't have anybody good for uh, shooting shields. Oh no! It's, it's all uh, armor. All well, armor. There, okay, that, that one's too bad. It's not. It's not too. It bad. It could have gone a lot faster things. if you had somebody to take out shields. It's true. We didn't necessarily balance our squad. <laughs> no, sorry. That's just things that can happen. Yeah. Um, oh, we have yet to show red card special. No, we have not. Well, we should be able to do that soon. In fact, let me just find oh, some yeah. dudes There's over here. Guys. So, uh, red cards special is something you charge up. And uh, in, you know, hooligan fashion, he is actually making himself vulnerable by doing this, so he takes more damage. But the longer he charges up, the more damage he deals out. So there's some really cool risk reward going on. Oh, Jesus. Oh, another turret. Yeah. <laughs> I was standing right on top of the right. wire again. Bye. <laughs> later, turret. I'll see you. See you later. Never. Yeah, this is a cool place for his wall climb. Or you can take the stairs. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I could just take the stairs. But why would you do that when you have triple jump and wall climb? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of wall climb. So yeah, some agents, you know, we show Daisy has the, the air dash. Others will, instead of the air dash, have wall climb ability. Yeah, it vaults up. Um, Braddock's another one. She has this huge combat knife. She just sticks into the side of his building yep. and pulls herself up. So cool. Now you're hurting my feelings. Oh, come on, Hammy. Don't be like that. <laughs> <laughs> Hammy. <laughs> Artek likes having pet names for people. Yeah. That's funny. I never noticed that yeah. until you pointed that out. That's so true. Oh, here's another trap with the, the turrets. Or not the turrets, the... Uh, electric arcs. Electric arc traps, yeah. They're the worst. They, they Legion layers are dangerous the places. They're... Yeah. All right, we're going to be quiet. Now shining like a comet of revenge, a prophet to the fall of all our foes. Will you have me obliterate the entire city before you learn your lesson? Turrets, arm. Shields, activate. Agents of mayhem, fucked. <laughs> Agent, are you there? Oh uh, yeah, there's a lot of turrets in here. We should have thought about this. Um, but uh, you have Braddock, so it, it could be okay. <laughs> yeah. She's fine. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. She, she's perfect. And Red Card's other weapon is okay for it. Look who's here. More troopers! Red Card's cool, too, because when he dashes near enemies, he messes with them. He gives them a status effect as well. Yeah, turrets don't mess around in our game, just, just so you know. Yeah, they're very dangerous, <laughs> as you can probably tell by this point. Oh, you got her ability, though. You got her mayhem. Oh, you're right. Uh, should I use it right now? Let's use it right now. Yeah, let's see you do it. So, she uh, lights her cigar, and she's going to use it as a uh, targeting beacon. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we have space lasers, too. <laughs> Take that, Hammersmith. <laughs> One left. Uh, Hammersmith is not DJing, but we have these really cool monitors up that uh, showcase what he's doing. Ah, <laughs> oh, right, I can't shoot now. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep, you got, uh... You got hit. There you go. Uh oh Risk reward! Uh -oh. Risk reward! Oh, oh you it. did it. Okay. <laughs> well played! I see my turret requires some further iteration. No matter. Perhaps this game will be more your speed. You think I'm scared of you? Behold, my hammer's dark matter energy balls. I did not sign on for ball detail. You gotta shoot his balls before. Here, I'll, I'll say Jason's you. line. Guys, you want ball jokes? <laughs> <laughs> we got ball jokes. This is where the ball jokes are. <laughs> Mess him up real quick. And stalking. Shields to maximum. Initiate retrograde firing sequence. We 
have time for one final demonstration. Hammersmith is now drawing energy directly from his space laser. You need to destroy the core. That should overload the whole system. Did you say core or core? Start with the shield generators. It's not working. We need more power. Like a space laser, perhaps? <laughs> How about right here? I didn't pretty good you can do that, yeah. It's working. Woo. Destroy Ooh. the core. If you've ever wanted to shoot the core, you can do that. I've loved shooting him. cores ever since I was five years old. <laughs> Let's, no, I don't think it's so. I was hoping to maybe get hard tax mayhem going uh, too, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see if we can make it happen. Do you think I would simply let you overload the core? Oh, God. Oh, dear. I don't want to stand there. <laughs> I don't want to stand there. That's where the space lasers are, like, exactly. More troopers. Wait, just four more seconds. You can, you can, you, you'll be able to get his mayhem going. Yeah, maybe. One more, one more, one more. Yeah. Dive in here. <laughs> Start dumping. The are up. All right. Too cool. bad for you. Yeah, so what's really cool is um, you don't have to pick one favorite, right? You can have three favorites, and they can all be your favorite. Yeah. Um, because you are rewarded for leveling up all the agents. It's okay. It's okay if you like all the characters. <laughs> <laughs> You can play as all of them. You yeah. can play as all of them, Don't and worry. you won't you won't Fine. feel like it's not worth your time. <laughs> all right. So Hardtack fires uh, sticky mines that uh, you can detonate Whoa. by hitting. Or perhaps not when it's on the core. No, you can hit both buttons again. All oh, right. Oh, and it an instantly control <laughs> scheme. <laughs> Sheets develop. You are incentivized to level them all up. <laughs> all right, so so the boss fight for Hammersmith there is cut a little shorter than we're used to. I believe. I think his health values are yeah, smaller. they're they're, oh, tuned, totally, they're yeah. tuned down some, so <laughs> yeah, people could actually get through it yeah. uh, without having. Been too familiar with the also game. Also, the dungeon itself 